everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm just gonna get ready have some errands to run and i was thinking about doing a bit of a throwback look and pulling out my pumpkin spice palette from too faced because it's still october and i feel like this fits more fall obviously than winter to me and i really was thinking of like a warmy eye to kind of Go with my pumpkin earrings and my pumpkin shirt. It is so dark and gloomy right now outside. I haven't had my coffee yet either. Ooh. Sorry, this is just the ColourPop brow gel in brown. Dark brown. I did some decluttering. Um, I didn't film it. I'm very sorry. Um, but I had, like, a lot of lip glosses go bad. I'm kind of sad about the declutter that I had to do. Um, a lot of my Kylie ones went bad. Which sucked because they have since changed the formula. And I only, I just kept one. I kept the one that smelled the least. Well, I kept my favorite one and luckily it smelled the least. Um, it's my Moon and Stars. I wore that on my wedding day. Like, it's a really pretty gloss. I do think the Moon shade from Maybelline is a pretty close dupe. But I have got the Maybelline one after, you know? Maybe I should dim this. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can dim the light, so sorry. That was the Ma uh, MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. Um, and now we're gonna go into the gingerbread palette and I'm gonna stick with these warmy colors because I do think I'm gonna need to dip somewhere else for a lid shade um, because this palette doesn't really have any. So I'm gonna go in with a Smith brush. Mm, no, lied. I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss. Um, I'm gonna dip first into Pumpkin Spice, which is the orangey yellow mustardy color. And we're gonna just... Put that on. So in my world, um, ColourPop just released the Nightmare Before Christmas palette photos. Ay ay ay. I think for me, it's um. Like, when you think of Nightmare Before Christmas, you think black and white, Jack. Red and a bluey, teal, Sally. Green, Oogie Boogie. Um, the kids' masks were red and green and white, right? Zero has his little pumpkin nose. Like, you think of that. And then how you end up with fuchsia, I'm not really sure. I'm not sure where the fuchsia comes into play. All right, these shadows still pigmented. I've had this palette for almost a year, it's still kicking. I did pull it out one time in the spring and I was really impressed with it. I just wanted more of like a, It was like a peach look, but like an orangey peach, so I dipped into here, and it worked really well for what I wanted. Could I have used one of the new palettes that I have? Yes. Here we are. And then we're going to dip into Cocoa Drizzle, which is the brown, not the, not the burgundy toned brown, just the regular brown in the top row. I am really just like not i'm like oh i can see kind of okay so i'm just really going for it today i have a lot of errands to run i was hoping this would help cheer me up you know i think i'm gonna wash my bedding today as well which is a big one we have a king bed so i have to wash um the sheets separate and then um, I think I'm going to wash the mattress pad and the duvet cover as well. So it's going to be like 
three loads and probably four drying cycles. But it'll be nice once it's done, you know? And it's one of those things where I really do need to do it on a day off because of how many loads it is. Or someone has to be home to flip them. Or else, like, I'm not going to come home from work and then spend hours trying to, like, make the bed if I come home from work late, you know? There's something in this eye. Alright. Alright, we're going to hop around... And I'm going to do my base. And for my base, where did I put it already? Oh, I, it was underneath something else so I couldn't see it. That was really funny. All right, I'm going to use my Maybelline, the 4-in-1, the glow, in the shade light. I really didn't pump this up much because um, I, had, I had a lot goes into this stupid sponge. And then I'm going to take my airbrush flawless complexion from it cosmetics that I got as my diamond gift. And um, the reason I have my light on today, my lights on is because it's really, really dark and gloomy. So I do feel like I have my cute little Makeup on will make me feel a lot better. And don't get too much on your brows. Well, I'm thinking about using one of my Salt New York blushes that I got in the pre order. Maybe we'll use terracotta. That could look really pretty. All right, now for concealer. I was trying to stir my concealers to pull one that I haven't used in a while. So let's go in with the Kaja one. And I've got the shade five. I do have to wear a mask today. So let's try this other side. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, I hate to be that guy, but it's really, like, not hard to make a concealer blush, I don't think. Well, or I'm just really good at picking, because I've got a lot of brushes that I have for foundation and concealer, and I truly love every single one of them. And then let's add some shape back. We're going to take um, the ABH Cream Contour Stick in Fawn. And we're going to use that. I've had that for years, so I was actually going to get rid of it. And then I'm pretty sure I saw... Um, Evangeline from Angels on Broomsticks, she was using it, and I was like, she's so pretty, I want to look like her. So then I started using it. Sometimes we end up in the Regina George mindset. Or was it Katie Heron? I saw Katie Heron wearing army jeans, army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. Like, and this is just the shade mink. Um, it's a real thing, you know? If you are if you think well of someone and you think that whatever they have is good, you're going to eventually... Look how pretty that highlight is. You're going to, you know, think like that. But that's how trends start, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's only a bad thing if it gets, like, out of hand. But it's pretty normal for humans, I think. Just going back in with the shade Pumpkin Spice, and I'm just kind of re-popping that in the inner corner. Mm 
I wonder what lid shade I'm going to use. Oh, this sucks because I really don't know what I have that's going to work for this. I don't want to use the one I already used. So I've got a shade from... Um, I have this shade, pumpkins, the pumpkin one from Touch of Glam, but I used that already. Well, we can use Talking Tangy or this one. Maybe we'll do this one. This is Shine by SD. This is Shine by SD Celeste. Yeah, let's do let's do that. Um, I am gonna go in with a little bit of a glitter glue though because I do like I said I'm running errands today. Um, heartbreaking information. Apparently, Give Me Glow discontinued my favorite glitter glue of all time. And I am highly offended by this. I bet we're probably going to do Terra Moon's Light Year on the inner corner as well. I bet ya. Or, um, well maybe we'll do... No, maybe we'll do the orange one. Okay. Can you see me? Alright, we're going to pick some up. I'm going to just see things like this really confuse me like when people say they don't like Too Faced mats I'm like what are you talking about because I feel like my mats look really awesome today or maybe it's because I used my Wayne Goss brush, and that brush is magical. It is literally like a magic wand. And when you use it, the power that it wields. Pretty good. I really like that. I'm glad we made this decision together. Oof, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, I didn't do breakfast yet. I just came in here to get this done. Because then I can just eat breakfast and go do my errands. Maybe I'll get compliments on my eyeshadow. I'm going to the doctor. I don't know what I think is going to happen. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Please don't. Okay. Um. I don't really feel like I have one. I was thinking about trying to find a Shine by SD shadow um, to use, but I don't really feel like I have one that I want to use. Where is my 23 brush from Ruffer? This is the literal best inner corner brush. And we are going to take set. Hang on. I feel like I knew it. No, Phoenix from Terra Moons. We are just going to have an orange look. I might keep the bottom lash line relatively clean just because... I am running errands in the daytime, and it's gloomy out. People aren't prepared to deal with this type of a look where I live. This early in the morning, you know? I gotta think about the people. Um, but I think I am going to take, I'm gonna take a pencil, I mean not a pencil brush, this little BHV20. And I am going to actually go in with a completely different shade I haven't used on my eyes today. I'm going to go in with the Spice Baby. Spice Spice Baby. And I'm just going to run it really like on the lower lash. And really close to the eye. Um, this is really just for that balance. 
Um, we're not blowing it out. We're not doing any of that. We are just creating some balance. Hopefully, oh, that I got lower. Never mind, I guess. Uh, that's the one hard thing with lower lash lines is you just, you take it that little bit too far and then where are you? You're on the next level. All right, let's go back in with my big brush. And I had that yellowy shade on there from when I cleaned up my lash. So I'm just gonna, you see? Okay, and then let's go in with um, blush. Let's go in with terracotta from Salt. And I am gonna put this on a brush because I do not want this to be that wild. Again, I am going to be masking up. Wow. I think I will put on a lip today as well, just for fun. Just for fun. I don't think I'm gonna do highlight because again, the focal point is really the eyes. So I think that I'm gonna pop off camera, do my eyelashes and my lips, and then I'll show you the final look. I love this. This is Hallow's Eve by Lunar Beauty. I think it's really cute and I think it works really well with um, the Celeste shade on the lid. Had we done the pumpkin shade from Touch of Glam, I think it would have gotten too light and bright and green and then I don't think this all would have worked. I am here for it. I did add a little bit more blush and my mascara I have a confession to make. Um, I used to love the Monsieur Big Mascara, but I bought this gift set two years ago and hoarded it, and I've just opened it. So I highly doubt the formula is what it once was. But that's a me thing. So I'm excited. I think this is my last fall look that's gonna go up, or not fall, but my last October video. So I wanted it to be a little I want it to be more s pumpkin, Halloween pumpkin, you know? So I hope you guys liked this look. Definitely pull out your pumpkin spice palette or your gingerbread, your gingerbread extra spicy, or if you bought the new one, the cinnamon swirl, pull it out, use it. Um, Cause this is, I mean, this palette was really pretty. So they did well last year, this year, boring. Um, also pull out an orange lipstick live a little have fun with it all right thank you guys so much for watching today's video please comment like and subscribe to my channel please go follow me on instagram and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye